guess who just cried because they were overwhelmed <laughs> to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well if you're new here i'm never right and today i am back with another vlog so in this vlog i'll just be taking you guys through my test week so currently it is the 18th of march 2024 and it was my first day of test week so my test week is two weeks long and has four tests in total not really but they have four i'm writing four modules in total let me say that so today is monday and i wrote um anatomy the test it has an online test mcq x type questions yeah those kind of questions so we wrote that and it went well i would say i was literally expecting the worst because over the weekend i literally almost started studied for like i would say like five hours the whole weekend combined because the whole of saturday i had a council meeting from 7 30 a.m it ended at half past 10 no at 10 then we went online from half past 10 to half past two then we continue the next day at one o'clock the next day meaning sunday at one o'clock until i think five yeah and then we continued up again at 10 10 to like 11 on sunday so like the whole weekend i was busy with the council meeting but then um, i had fun in the council meeting if i'm being honest i enjoy being in council and stuff but then yeah um so today i wrote the test it went well i would say and then okay on friday i'm writing smd and smd has like three parts first of all we have lct which is logical and critical thinking it has an we have an scg on friday and then we also have an hsd test that we're gonna write on campus approximately two hours we haven't gotten the final details but that's like what i'm approximating and then we also have uh, medical terminology which is just basically learning about the medical terms also writing on friday for like an hour approximation so yeah that's the what's going on this week and then next week on monday i'm writing physiology and then on thursday i'm writing uh, molecular medicine so like that's how my test week is structured for this first block so i'm just gonna take you guys through this test week and everything so currently i'm just gonna um study because last week i didn't do the content for physiology and also for molecular medicine so today's goal is to catch up on those two things also start my essay so that i can submit it hopefully by thursday not friday but then yeah that's how this week is gonna go hope you guys enjoy like comment share subscribe share with a friend and all of that thank you guys so much for the support thus far really do appreciate it and check out my instagram let's grow that instagram page and yeah let's get into today's vlog <laughs>
day so today uh, it's currently 8 40 and i'm hoping to get my room at 8 50 so from 9 o'clock until 12 i have a a physiology like extra tutorials is basically like a revision for the test so today we're doing three topics we're doing blood um body fluids also lipid mm, immunology so that's what we're gonna be doing today they sent us like questions to answer and i did that yesterday night so that's my schedule for today and then for the rest of the day i'm just gonna be studying on my own and then i'm also meeting up with hope later in the day to do some studying because yeah just need a change of environment from studying alone to like studying with someone but then yeah, that's how my day is gonna go today hope you guys enjoy hope you guys are still enjoying the vlog and yeah let's get started into today later in the day i came back from my class at 12 had lunch and then i took a nap like i took the biggest nap lately i've been taking naps in the afternoon and i need to reduce that like i need to calm down a little bit so tomorrow i have my own my only like class at eight so i like need to sleep kind of early because i need to wake up early but because it's at medical school so like yeah but right now i've been trying to do medical terminology but ish yeah 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 but then anyways, so I'm gonna go and study with Hope in a little bit when she texts me that she's here. She's gonna go and study together and uh, while I'm with her, I wanna focus on the essay and also the also HSD. But then yeah, today I also found out that we're actually writing physiology on Tuesday, not Monday, next week. Which is like good and bad. It's good because I have more time to study. It's bad because I have like I'm writing on Tuesday, then I have one day, then I'm writing um, molecular medicine. So, like, I don't know how I feel about that. It's just on me to plan out my time well. But I didn't want to talk too long, so I'm just going to continue with medical terminology. And then, yeah, what can I do? Yeah, I'm just going to continue with this, and then I'll go out and study with hope. I'm feeling really burnt out right now, so I think I'm just gonna go now. Hope will find me there. Like, I'm feeling really burnt out in my room. I don't know what. I'm just gonna change my environment and hopefully that helps. until my SEMD test so today as I said yesterday from 8 to 10 I have a physiology metabolism tutorial like an extra tutorial so that's what I'm planning on doing today and then for the rest of the day I don't have anything just gonna be studying on my own so today I actually woke up at 5 a.m. and yeah it felt really good to wake up early but then yeah I yeah I woke up at 5 and I just I was just working on my essay and I just need to what's this just need to finish the drops do the referencing and then i'll be done i'll be done by today that's my goal to finish today and all of that 
but then yeah i'm actually wanted to talk about this thing of like waking up early so like as you guys know me you've seen my videos waking up at 12 a.m waking up at 3 a.m for a week and all of that and i feel like for a while i was convinced that like for someone to be productive for someone to do the best that they can they have to wake up at an insanely early time so like be wake up before everyone and like beat everyone's everything like they just need to wake up early to be on top of their things and all of that and like for a long time i was so like my mind was so wired into believing that but then lately um i've realized that waking up early like waking up at five every day of the week is not like realistic for me because i'm someone that like needs to rest like i get tired very easily even if i wake up at 5 a.m by 10 i'm already like very tired so i realized that that routine was not really I did, it was not realistic for me so i decided to try something different and then for the past few weeks i've been sleeping around like 10 or like 11 no like around 12 and then waking up at 6 7 and that uh, fun has been realistic for me like much more realistic because like when i was waking up at 5 i found myself like um like negative self-talk because most of the time i couldn't actually wake up at five i was like snoozing the alarm i was eating like 30 minutes extra five minutes extra and sometimes i would even set an alarm for five but end up waking up at seven and do you know like how that feels that like a so demotivating and so discouraging because you already think like half of your day is like gone so like you're starting to think all of these things so like i was getting into that circle of like every day i couldn't wake up at five but still i wanted to wake up at five like i wanted this thing of waking up at five because in my head was like the only thing that the person has to do to have a productive day and all of that so like i was believing that and because of that i just kept on like forcing myself to wake up at 5 a.m even though it was not realistic and it was not doable and attainable because of my busy schedule but then yeah lately i've been waking up at six seven and in honest case like finding peace in that like that is okay it's not like the end of the world like waking up at 5 a.m was not realistic for me at all lately because of my busy schedule as i've said but then waking up at six or seven was more realistic and waking up at those times i felt better about myself because i didn't snooze my alarms i just woke up whenever the alarm rang i was more consistent in waking up i like um my day was better because I, I was actually rested and i could go on with my day so i didn't even need naps most of the days because i could just power on with like i had enough energy in me so yeah basically i just wanted to talk about like you don't have to wake up early to be the most productive person you don't have to wake up early to like do the most like but then if you're like a person who works better in the morning then sure do that but then just make sure that you get enough sleep just make sure that you sleep early the uh, the previous day so that you can wake up early because it's just gonna turn into a cycle of snoozing your alarm but if you're a person that prefers uh working early in the am then do that just find a schedule where you're not like sleeping three hours or something because let's not do that to ourselves as much as like work we have to do like that's just not realistic that's just like it's not good for your health and all of that but then yeah um i think i've found my routine now waking up at six seven is like the best for me currently and i'm just gonna keep on doing that but then i just wanted to share that because there are also like people who assume that i wake up at 3 a.m every day <laughs> like I, i'm also human like i can't do that like no because i feel like most of the time i prefer staying up late not late as in the am's late as in um 10 11 12 then waking up early. like for the past time I, like for the past years and months i've always thought of myself as a morning person and i still think i am because i prefer to do my stuff in the morning and then have the rest of the day to myself but then being a morning person doesn't actually mean that you have to wake up in the a.m in the 5 a.m 3 a.m to just be the morning person you can also wake up at 6 and 10 be the morning person it's still morning until 12 so like that's still morning so like yeah um, but i just wanted to show a bit on that i don't wake up at 3 a.m every day i don't wake up at 5 a.m every day as in my previous videos that was first year during this week during yeah, exam yeah during exam time when we didn't have any classes and stuff but now because i have classes i have lectures i have assignment quizzes all of that i can't do that anymore even now though it's test week currently as i'm filming this and i can't be waking up at 3 a.m every day i'm sure i need my sleep i'm also human i also need my sleep my brain also needs sleep to function properly but yeah um just a little spiel on that but right now i'm just gonna make food and then do my hair then leave to go to the tutorial Hello. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Dimpo. Yeah, we're in the tutorial now. Yeah. <laughs> I just currently 
have birth two and then apparently at three o'clock we have um hsd it was supposed to be in person but thank god he moved it online so we're just gonna have that it's just like a revision session where he's gonna be like answering any questions people have and stuff so like i thought maybe i was done for the day but we have ellen apparently and yeah so i'm just gonna be doing that right now i'm currently finishing my essay hopefully i'll be done by it by tonight so i can focus on hsd and also physiology since i'm writing on tuesday but yeah today my day is going great so far like i after physiology after the tutorial i came back and took a nap for like an hour because you know that app that like tutorial drained me for some reason because like the people that were speaking they were like speaking in such a low voice in such a soft manner like i was falling asleep and i was drained so i just like came back to get nap and then went got my lunch and then was just studying and stuff so yeah um i'm just gonna continue on finishing my essay and yeah that's like my main job for today but then yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog and let's continue <laughs> currently four o'clock and yeah i think i'm just gonna go downstairs and eat at the dining hall i think i'll eat there because should i should i no i think i'll just take a container never mind because it's like there's thunder currently outside and yeah i'm just gonna get my container go and get food and then come back i wanted to go to the library but i don't think i'm gonna go anymore like i don't feel like it anymore maybe i'll go tomorrow but yeah let's go and get dinner i guess So today is actually a public holiday which explains why we don't have anything today so yeah but today is a public holiday and yeah i don't have anything today as i've stated already so tomorrow i'm writing smd and i've just been doing preparations and stuff so yesterday i was finally able to be done with my essay so what's left is just for me to proofread i've done referencing and everything i just need to like um proofread make sure that i like name the file the way that they want it to be named and all of those things i'm just gonna have to finish those like finishing touches and i want to submit it today because i don't want to be worried about it tomorrow and then yeah um currently i've been doing body fluids for physiology so yeah i've been doing body fluids for physiology and then um, i did like i did like the went over the notes like revised then i did equip which is like this like website that vet has to like which is like a bunch of questions basically so i also did that and then right now it's currently 11 o'clock and i'm just gonna go to the dining hall and have my lunch there and then when i come back i want to do enzymes which is like also physiology so i'm gonna do the revision of enzymes do it equip as well and then after that it's all SEMD from now on so i'm just gonna finish my essay submit then go over the past papers for hsd do medical terminology and all of that so like that's my plan for today and i've also been editing my vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow at three it's still i still have a long way to go i don't know if it will be up in time but because i'm writing i think i finished writing at half past three so like if i have to post it tomorrow at three means i have to finish it today and then like schedule it for tomorrow but i'll just see i'm not pressuring myself to like post it or anything i'll just see if i can i will if i can't it will go up later in the day but yeah let me go ahead and continue on with my day and yeah, let's go to the dining mm hall -hmm. and get my lunch how happy 
पी एम सी पी जाने थे ऐसे ही लाइक गाइज यू आर सो ट्रेंड आई एम सो फीक लाइक आई एम सो हैपी आई एम डन विद ऐसे ही इट इज करेंटली फोर ओ क्लॉक एंड एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक आई नीड टू टेक द बस टू नो कैन डो फॉर नेट बो प्रैक्टिस सो दैट द रिमेनिंग टाइम दैट आई हैव आई वन आई गीज इट टू इट्स दस टू टू एल सी टी एंड देन वेन आई कम बैक आउट टू एच एस टी एंड सो लेट But then, yeah, guys, yeah, I'm so drained. Like, I'm so ready to go home. Like, oh, I'm so ready to go home. Like, I'm so drained. I am so tired. Like, I am fatigued. If I'm being honest, like, nothing is funny anymore. Nothing is appealing. I just wanna not do anything. Like, I'm so tired, and I just put a red bull in the fridge because I feel like I'm gonna need it when I come back from practice. But guys, I am so tired. Guess who just cried because they were overwhelmed. Just let me go have dinner, guys. I don't think I'm gonna go to netball practice anymore. <sighs> yeah, academics just have to come first. I really wish I could go, but with how things are looking right now. Hey guys, so update. It is currently. um quarter past 7 and netball practice was actually cancelled because of the weather but either way you guys know I wasn't going to go but right now I'm just going to do um HST I'm going to finish the content I finished the content yesterday I just need to go over some notes that I have and then going to do past papers the thing is more I start writing at quarter past at quarter to 9 and then I'm going to it's a one hour test so I'm going to finish at quarter to 10 yeah And then after that, I'm gonna write my next test at half past one. So I have like this big chunk of time, um, in between tests. So I can also like do some more studying in between those times. So I'm like not really worried about HSD. I just wanna focus on um medical terminology, but like mostly on HSD because medical terminology contributes a lesser percentage onto my on the overall course mark, on the overall module mark. I mean, but then yeah, I'm just gonna do some. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish going over those notes for HSD, and then. Maybe two past papers. I'm gonna do the quizzes first. Those are the quizzes. I'm gonna do the quizzes first and go over the notes like he gave us in the in-person lectures and also in tutorials. Just gonna go over those and then I'm gonna do past papers and then I'm gonna finish the night with medical terminology. I don't know why I was so stressed. I was just stressing myself out. But you know, you need moments like that to come back to your senses. But I am back. I am back to my senses and I'm ready to tackle on. This academics thing. Then yeah, I have Red Bull here. Just gonna drink this to motivate me. I'm thinking of like taking myself out to Rosebank on a date or something on on the Sunday. Cause like guys, I'm burning out really fast, and I'm writing to like major tests next week that are gonna require a lot from me, and like I need to thoroughly prepare. Obviously, I'm gonna go to church. Like always, going to church always helps. But I just wanna do us something outside of my normal routine, cause like I've had this routine like during the week I'm like academics and stuff, Friday, Sunday is church. And if I just wanna do something for myself, like I made a promise to myself that like, this year I'm gonna be take myself out more and stuff. But I haven't done that. Like I haven't done that at all. But next, but the next week again on Thursday, I'm going out with hope. But yeah, if I can, if my finances are balancing, then I'm definitely gonna take myself out. Will it be in this vlog? Probably, probably, yeah. If I do go, I don't know, cause I'm writing on Tuesday, so I think I can go on Sunday. But yeah, let me do HST. I'm I'm so happy. Why that this thing was not focused? I don't know. I think it's the lighting. But I'm happy. I'm done with my essay. Just gonna do HST. And then come down, cause why am I panicking? So 
today is the last day of the week and yeah it's currently got up past eight so it got up to nine i'm writing in 30 minutes i'm writing probably not gonna write it got up to eight probably gonna write at nine probably but it's an it's a one hour test nevertheless so right now i made breakfast i made future life in here so i'm just gonna eat this i'm just gonna eat this as my breakfast and then i'm just gonna while i wanna do that i'm just gonna go over some inky cards some that some like one of my classmates shared that i talked about i think but then yeah i'm just gonna go over them the ones that i can because as you guys know some i don't know what's going on with them but then yeah I'm just gonna go over them right now we're writing at quarter to nine and then i'm just gonna i'll show you guys after let me not speak beforehand i'll just show you guys after but yeah it's a good morning today i'm feeling really positive about today you know honestly, i'm just ready for today to be done i'm ready for it to be late in the day and when i come back i need to desperately like desperately clean my room like there are dishes everywhere like the floors need to be <sighs> it's been bad like i've been prioritizing my academics but i need to prioritize my well-being as well so i'm just gonna come back and i'm not even gonna show you guys like it's so bad i need to take out my trash but then yeah and yeah let me do some studying right now i can't wait for it to be done with smt but then next week is like the big things but you know that i can do it most yeah Anyways, guys, let me eat and not waste time. But yeah, I'll tell you guys how that all the tests went today and all of that. But regardless, we are moving. Hey guys, so I am done with the first test, uh, medical terminology, and I would say it went well. There were like some terms I was like, oh, I had forgotten, and there were others where I was like, I didn't take this seriously. Now it's here, but overall it was a good test i'm happy with how i did and i was late like i think i arrived there so i was supposed to be there got up to nine i think i arrived like at 13 or 12 minutes to nine so i was like 13 minutes late and people already had their um people were already had already written their names on the registers on the mcq card and stuff so like i need to work on my time because i'm why am i being late to something that's on education campus like i was early for stuff that i had to take the bus for but then now because it's like so close i'm being i'm relaxing too much basically but um the one at half past one i need to be there at quarter past one i don't have to be there it's what he recommends because like we have two different sessions there's like people are rising from half past 11 to half past one and then i'm rising from half past one to half past three so he doesn't want like us to mix and talk and share things and that so i think that's why like he wants us there early but yeah right now it's currently got up past 10 and um, at half past 10 i'm gonna start studying i was thinking maybe i'll go and get lunch but then actually i think um i'll go and get lunch at half past 12 and then mm, and then i'm gonna eat then go to the venue from there so yeah happy about how today's test went one more test checked off the to-do list um at the the once the essay checked off now i just have one more test to check off and then smooth sailing from here smooth sailing really i'm not sure but then yeah anyways i'm just gonna chill right now breathe i'm happy like i'm i don't know today i just woke up really happy i don't know i don't know i just woke up happy today i don't know why god is good shame. yesterday yo, i was panicking i was crying yesterday i was all over the place but yeah god is good anyways let me just relax sure guys look like do you see the amount and like i still have more here tell me why do i still have my uh mbbch one year things why am i still having my first year things like i need to get rid of them the only thing that i'm gonna keep is like hsd notes i'm not gonna go deep into them because you mm -mm. I'm sorry, I better remember because I didn't put in that effort last year to forget. But then, yeah, I just want to go over some notes and stuff. It is currently got it to 11, so I'm just going to start studying. I'm just going to put these back in here. I need to throw them out before I go home. And I'm just going to take some that I want to keep, like these booklets. I don't know, I don't feel, I don't feel good throwing them out for some reason. So I'm just going to keep them and then like test scripts, um, notes. I'm going to throw those out. Yeah. 
you know when like something's been on your mind for so long that you just like want it to be done and just over and like that's how i feel about hsd right now like i wish i could write right now and just finish with it because i'm tired of having to think about it and having to study for it so i'm like can i just be done already but then i'm just gonna do some past papers right now it's currently half past 11 and yeah i wish i could write right now so i can just finish like i'm so done with studying for it like i just want to be done and like focus on other things with my test for the week and as you guys can see by the smile i think it went really well which i'm so happy and like relieved about i'm sure god wherever he is is like laughing at me right now for like my girl who was literally crying yesterday stressing didn't you know that i had it under control which i'm sorry like i ever doubted you i think i'm so grateful i'm so happy like i'm done with hsd block one done one more block left of smd then i'm done because it's a semester module so yeah i am happy my life is finally rosy <laughs> going to church and i'm with hope she's Hi. looking very cute today oh tell her she looks <laughs> nice good morning guys and happy saturday so today my schedule from half past from quarter to 10 yeah quarter to no quarter to 11 until like half past one i have a what's this a wrap it up physiology tutorial so we have that like the ending time is not like set but then around that time and then at two o'clock we're supposedly having a netball match with campus central which is like another race here in park town so that's gonna be at main campus so i also need to go to that um i'm probably gonna take the top the two o'clock bus because i don't know where the match starts but i'm gonna take the two o'clock bus because yeah but then yeah that's my schedule for today not 10.45 I'm late by more than the two hours ah, guys I thought it's 10.45 you're not doing work
go to the dining hall first to get my dinner and the time is not on my side like what's going on with me and time lately i need to investigate this issue but yeah i'm ready to go guys i'm with hope now i'm recharged you can even see that i'm smiling hi <laughs> it is not true <laughs> okay. Thank you. 